What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Fired Up Friday. Tonight, I'm going to be cooking for the Drifting Dreamers. Mike, listen, the kiddos are going to come up the hill here in a little while. And tonight, I'm going to try something I've never done before. I'm going to do my take on a chicken cordon bleu. A chicken cordon bleu. Um, I'm going to do that, mashed potatoes, and some kind of vegetable. Maybe green beans, corn, something like that. But we're not going to talk a whole lot to start off with here, guys. We are going to jump right back in it. I've already got the grill going and heating up right there. And I've already got the chicken on the plate. Got the cutting board out. Got the knife ready. I'm going to go ahead and fillet all of these out. And then we'll move on to the next step. And I'll explain to you what my plan is to do for the chicken cordon bleu. All right, guys. What I'm doing is I'm just cleaning up the chicken breast just a little bit. Getting some of this fat off here and some of the loose pieces. That way, whenever I go ahead and fillet them out, it's a little bit cleaner of a product. We're going to go ahead and get all of them ready to start with, and then we'll fillet. All right, now that we got them all cleaned up just a little bit, a little bit more off right there, we're going to go ahead and fillet them. I like to put my hand down on it like this. Start from the fat end. Be careful with this, guys. Do not cut your hand. There we go. Now one chicken breast is two. One's a little bit smaller than the other. Same thing. All right, easy peasy. All right guys, the ingredients that we're gonna use for this are quite simple. I've got the bacon, I've got chicken, I'm going to use some boar's head pepper jack cheese and also some boar's head black forest ham. As far as the seasonings, we're just going to use a brown sugar rub by Weber. I'm going to use some garlic and some seasoned pepper. We're going to go ahead and get the chicken seasoned up on both sides, get it all nice and good. Then we'll clean our cutting board, put the chicken back on there, and then we'll start laying out what we're going to do with the chicken and all these other ingredients. We're going to start with the brown sugar. Ooh, this seasoning smells amazing. A little bit of the seasoned pepper. Now the reason why I'm going with the brown sugar rub, guys, instead of a different one, is because pepper jack's got a little bit of spice to it, and what I'm trying to achieve is a little sweet and heat kind of together. All right, let's put a little garlic on there. Be careful with the garlic, guys. It'll overwhelm it. All right, let's flip all these over. Wash my hands for the 19th time. And some more brown sugar. Brown sugar, sugar. Juicy the size of that cock a doo do do Young Guns, Young Guns, love that show. That movie. A little bit more to season pepper. And a touch more of the old garlic. Drizzle it just a little bit. Drizzle it just a little bit. All right. All right. Now I want the front side of the chicken to be what is on the outside when I roll it up. So I'm going to flip them all back over one more time. I've decided I'm not going to go ahead and take them off the cutting board. I'm going to leave them like this and roll them in place. And get all of those seasonings all up in here. All right, guys. Now we are going to start putting the pepper jack on. Now I've never made this, guys. It's just in my head what I think will be good. So we're going to give it a shot. It's the way I like to cook. You don't need too much cheesy. 
It's never easy being cheesy. I know all you guys watching have experimented in the kitchen and just tried something new and it turned out absolutely amazing. In the comments, tell me what is the best creation you've ever came up with just by trying something new. Put a little bit of that Black Forest ham on there. Everything got a little ham on it. It's starting to look like something, guys. It's starting to look like something. Now I gotta open the bacon. Now typically, anytime I wrap anything with bacon, I try to get the thinner bacon. That, because I want a nice crispy bacon on the outside. I might end up needing some toothpicks for this. It's quite possible. All right, that is one. Don't know if I'm gonna have enough bacon to wrap all of them on. I may have to try something else. All right, guys, turned out really good. Sandwich these two right here. I'll probably put some toothpicks in those. Grill should be ready by now. Let's go ahead and get them on the grill and then we'll start preparing the side. Ones that I sandwiched in first. Now, a lot of that cheese probably going to come out and then we'll put the bacon wrap ones in just to make sure these right here stay together and to try to keep that cheese from coming out as much as possible being that I had to improvise a little bit that's part of cooking guys you just got to go with the flow go with the flow that one was trying to separate a little bit, so I went ahead and put two toothpicks on there. All right, guys, we're going to close this up. I'm going to cook it kind of low and slow. I want to get some of that smoke flavor in on that bacon and that chicken. And then I'll probably raise the heat up to about 300, 350, and go ahead and finish cooking it off until that bacon is really, really crispy. All right, let's get back in the kitchen and get those sides going. Now we're going to go ahead and chop up some potatoes for some mashed potatoes. I like to leave the peels on the tomatoes. I've already washed all of these. That right there is where all your nutrients and stuff is on your potatoes. And I actually like to keep them in there. So we're gonna dice those up. I'm actually gonna do a mashed potatoes with two different types of potatoes. Uh, I still have some red potatoes here that need to be cooked before they go bad. So I'm gonna add these and a couple more of these because we have a total of about six people eating. So it's gonna take quite a few taters. All right, let's go ahead and get them chopped up. These small ones I'm just going to chop in half to make them cook faster. And also I like to have mashed potatoes left over as well. This one's a little bigger so we'll cut that into threes. Cut them like so and then we'll just cut them like that. Good to go. Now, on the last video, a lot of y'all asked me what knife I'm using right here. And I don't know if it's focusing in on that, but it's D-A-L Strong. Dale Strong. You can go to their website and look it up. They're really, really, really nice knives. Now, I have found that it takes absolutely forever for water to boil with my hot plate. So, I'm going to use the Instapot tonight. And it should go a whole lot faster for me. We're going to go with the saute on high. Saute 30 minutes. And let it cook. All right, guys. I'll bring y'all back when we check the grill. The guests have arrived. Guys. Hey. <laughs> Man, and I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Mm. We got some good groceries going on. Let me show you what we got, guys. It actually came in the mail today. These guys actually delivered it. It came right on time for this Fired Up Friday. I, it's not. It wasn't supposed to get here until tomorrow. But being that it's here, we popped it open and we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna use this to make the mashed potatoes because guys, be honest with you, my uh, mixing situation around here at uh, Come On Mountain, it was pretty dire, pretty dire. I had an old dollar store mixer that I might have paid $10 for a long time ago and I only had one of the paddles and I was about to get my mix on with that and uh, I've wanted one of these my whole life since I've been cooking oh. and they had an amazing sell on it 
the other day. It's the five quart one. And I went ahead and got it. And it got this attachment. It's got the whisk. And it's also got the dough hook. So we're going to be making some bread, all kinds of stuff. Also got a bread maker, guys. I'm not going to show that on this one. My next video is actually going to be a baking video, guys. So you'll have to come back to see the bread maker. All right, guys. Potatoes are done. Instapot did his thing. Woo! We're going to go check on the meat real quick. And then we'll go ahead and put them over into the brand new mixer and make some mashed potatoes. I'm going to do it a little bit different. I'm going to have to kick this guy out. Mm. I don't want to tell him what's going to be in it. I got a lot of stuff kind of shoved in my carport right now because we just got over having rain for 24 hours straight, guys. A it lot of intense. rain. <laughs> it, it, it made the creek angry. Oh, yeah. It was angry. All right, guys. Let's see what it looks like. Let me flip you around. What up? Oh, my God. <laughs> Dang. Look at that, baby. Mm. That looks so yummy. Look at that, guys. Come on with the country boy. Cordon bleu. Yeah. Cordon bleu. <laughs> Don't they do blah? Cordon bleu. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going to be amazing, guys. Let's go ahead and get them off. Get them on the plate. We'll let these rest for a little while while we make the mashed potatoes and go ahead and get the vegetable going. I ran out of bacon. Oh. So I took two chicken breasts and sandwiched them oh. and made like a chicken cordon bleu thing for sandwiches. Oh, tomorrow. sweet. Okay. All right, guys, let's get them inside. Get a cover over them and let them rest. We got to hurry up. It's go time. Chicken. Don't need to rest like beef and pork and stuff like that. It will dry out on you, so we got to get moving. Time to work on the potatoes. Hold on. Hello. Thanks for joining us here on Fired Up Friday. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Come out. That's uh, Kermit's cousin. <laughs> I don't have a big strainer, guys, so we're going to work with what we got. This is taking forever. Okay, I need a sous chef. Lissa. Yes, chef. Okay. Please, please, my hurry, 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 hurry. Keep her waiting. Hold that. Thank you. Oh. Whoa. How's your day going? It's going great. Awesome. Oh, lost potato, chef. We lost a tater. Tater down. <laughs> please, tater down. Please take a moment of silence for a lost potato. Continue on. All taters matter. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try to do this without making a mess. Shake, 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 Sonora. <laughs> shake it all the time. We did that on the last one. Come on. <laughs> okay. Rest in peace. <laughs> ashes to ashes, dust to dust. If I wouldn't have dropped the tater, it'd have been here with us. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Uh oh. This is real life, guys. This is real life. We keep it real here in this kitchen. It doesn't always go as planned. Sometimes it literally stresses. You just gotta keep on going. All right. I have absolutely no idea how to use this thing. Narrow lick. So we're gonna do it together. First thing I know we're gonna need is a little milk and butter. We need a little butter. I don't measure, I just kind of, my eye. We're gonna put just a little bit of milk. All right, let's see how this thing works. Put that on. And then I think it, oh. Yeah, I guess that's it. And then it's already unlocked. Put it down, put it in the lock position, I would guess. And somehow I think we should start off on one.
Looks like we need a little bit more milk. All right, we're gonna stop this for a minute. Now I gotta kick Mike out of the kitchen because I don't want him to know what I'm putting in it. I appreciate the filming. I'll be back. So we're gonna add a little bit of this in here. I've never done this before, guys, but I'm about to. to add a little creaminess to it. And we're gonna add a little bit of organic parsley flakes to it. Let's go ahead and turn it back on one. Let it start mixing. Crushed pepper in here. All right. It's going to be amazing. I can feel it. Let's give it a try. I ain't mad at it. Alright guys, now is the moment we've been waiting for. Cutting into this and seeing how juicy and how well this actually turned out. Like I said, never done it before with these ingredients, but wanted to give it a shot. Juicy definitely ain't the problem. Mm. Let's go ahead and cut this one right here. This one right here looks amazing. All right. There you go. Ooh. See all your ham and cheese in there. The real question is, let's see how it's going to taste. Okay, being that I like my niece the most, I'm gonna let her try it first. There you go. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'd have thought you'd have been less of a gentleman if anyone else would have went first. Yeah. <laughs> well, Domino said, what about me? Mm -hmm. You know he's hanging out. Look at that tail. Look at that tail. <laughs> All right, nephew. Hmm. You have to turn the camera on yourself. Here we go. <laughs> Tasting everything. Man, that is delicious. Juicy. It's juicy. You can taste the ham. I can taste the ham, the bacon, the cheese. Can you taste the pepper jack? I was going for a little bit of heat with a little bit of sweet because that pepper jack's got a little spice, not much. Yeah. Just it's is very mild. Spice, but... So, but I used a brown sugar rub to give it a little heat and sweet okay. kind of combo. Yeah. It, was, it was delicious. It was so good. <laughs> All right, so now let me try it. All right, time for the chef to try his own meal. Yeah with the center so I get all the good flavors. All right. I ain't mad at it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was a pretty big piece. I'm gonna have to chew for a second. <laughs> yeah. I thought the same thing when I had my piece. Oh, you're right. That's where I'm tasting it now too, is at the end. You feel this pe pepper jacket at the end. Okay. Yeah. So good. <laughs> I was actually, I didn't want to say it, but I didn't even taste the pepper jack really. I was just like, yes, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. But there it is, right there at the end. Well, you can I taste it. I always want honesty. Because especially when I'm cooking stuff like this, I've never cooked it before. It's just something that in my head is what I think would taste good. Mm -hmm. And so I, I like the feedback. Yeah. Negative or not. Because then I can tweak it on the next one. Like for me, I would uh, probably next time try to get a, a little bit bigger chicken breast so I can get a full wrap around it. That way I could put more cheese and more ham to get a lot ah. more. Because I would like for it personally to be a little cheesier. Just okay. a little bit. Okay. Okay, so let's make some plates. 
full disclosure right here. As my personal preference, and it's been this way since forever, I do not eat homemade mashed potatoes. I only strictly eat instant potatoes. I don't like them. Every one of them I've ever tried has been fair. Didn't like them. Uh, I was tricked once into eating Lissa's, and uh, it was good. Oh, <laughs> say it again. Say it again. Uh, however, I am willing. I'm going to give this an honest shot, honest opinion. We're going to taste these. Oh, thanks. Oh, bless you. As you. Thanks. You got a 5K to run. I do. I'm excited about that. Getting ready to come up here this weekend, the day before Easter, running my very first 5K in over 10 years. There you go. Thank you. Mm. How many do you want? Mm. Some more bacon. You can never have enough bacon. You can never have enough bacon. These are some pretty big plates. Yeah, they're <laughs> massive plates. But they look cool. Oh, they look amazing. Yeah, I'm jealous. Can't wait. Coming soon. <laughs> Coming soon. To a landing near you. Yeah. Ajou! Ajou! Bless you. <laughs> Lissa don't like vegetables. I love vegetables. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't know if you can trust somebody that likes instant potatoes over real mashed potatoes. <laughs> I'm going to have to think about that. <laughs> It, it, it is the single only way I don't like a potato. I do eat a potato like every other way. And you know what's even stranger? I will bake a potato and mash that sucker to death and put cheese and salt and pepper on it and eat it. <laughs> All right, guys, that is a wrap. The food was absolutely amazing. We devoured the plates. Mike did not like the potatoes. Uh, now it's like challenge accepted. Now I talked to him a little bit about the details of why he don't like the potatoes because he actually likes potatoes. Baked potatoes, he'll mash up with butter and everything Man. and eat it just like it's nothing. So I'm going to unlock this mystery. I'm, hey, I'm ready for somebody to unlock it. I'm ready to eat some mashed <laughs> Well, you know, you know, I got some skills. I'll probably be a challenge accepted. He liked mine, which yep. he didn't know it yeah. was real mashed potatoes. Yep, I, I'm going to get him. We did, uh, we did bring some uh, little to-go plate here for the kids. Take them oh, back yeah. on down to the landing farm. We ain't going to keep all the good groceries. No, not all the good groceries. What did you think, Lissa? It was so good, guys. Delicious. You know what? Lissa likes that. <laughs> yeah, I do. It was good stuff. <laughs> that bless you sauce. <laughs> that bless you sauce. Well, guys, I want to thank you all for joining me for another Fired Up Friday. This one is amazing. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Um, cause I know y'all want to see that bread maker in action. What? I do. I, yeah. Uh, I've been baking a little bit behind the scenes guys. So I think I'm going to bake with y'all. I've never baked with y'all on my channel. So those peanut butter cookies you made were so bad. <laughs> they were. <laughs> so I think it's time to, uh, bake with y'all. Let me know in the comments uh, what you think. And in the comments, give me some ideas that you'd like to see me bake. Um, it's a lot of stuff I haven't done, but I'm always willing for a try, uh, try something new. So, and you know, I'm always going to put a little bit of that come on twist to it. Come on. All right, guys. Love every single one of y'all. Keep it fired up. Be like, come on. <laughs>